Dry ice is one of the world's coldest substances. What would happen if you took dry ice in your mouth? Dry ice is a kind of carbon dioxide that is solid, and it's minus 78 degrees Celsius outside. People consume this stuff on sometimes. It's a flavoring used in drinks and ice creams on occasion. However, it is only safe in very small dosages. What would happen if you ate a complete brick of dry ice instead of mixing it with other foods? But first, how would you go about obtaining it? You could just purchase it, but why don't we try manufacturing our own? Carbon dioxide gas is used to make dry ice. This gas may reach temperatures of minus 56 degrees Celsius. However, it must be significantly colder to become dry ice. It must be compressed and chilled to do this. It creates liquid CO2 when it is freed from the mold and returned to normal air pressure. Now that we have our liquid, we can put it into a block press, which will turn it into a solid. We've got our dry ice. So, what happens next? So, now that you have your dry ice brick, you'll want to touch it before putting it in your mouth. If you just poke the dry ice with your finger, it will return crimson with a small prickling feeling. That wasn't that horrible after all. So why don't you try lifting it up yourself? Because your skin cells would begin to freeze and die after only a few seconds of holding dry ice in your hands. Your skin would become blue and gray if you held it in your hands any longer. You'd gradually lose all feeling in your hands. You're still wondering about what would happen if you ate this brick of dry ice after realizing how harmful it can be to your body. Okay, as soon as you consumed the dry ice, you'd experience the identical feeling in your mouth as you experienced on your palm. Your tongue and oral tissue would hurt and become quite numb. Remember to brush your teeth as well. Do you realize how unpleasant it is to chew ice cream? Yeah. Imagine that, but a thousand times worse. In a couple of seconds, your entire mouth would be frozen. It would only grow worse the longer you held the dry ice in your mouth. You'd gradually lose all sensation in your mouth. However, we aren't even close to being done with the dry ice. You'd still have to take it down. You'd feel a tingling sensation as the dry ice made its way down your throat, then down to your stomach. The dry ice would heat up in your stomach and turn into gaseous carbon dioxide. This is because dry ice does not form a liquid when heated, but rather a gas. Dry ice gets its name from this. You'd feel bloated and then have a stinging ache in your stomach because of the gas. Remember the frostbite on your stomach lining as well. Fortunately, you were able to burp some of the gas, taking some of the load off your shoulders. However, if you kept eating dry ice, the gas pressure would continue to rise. Your stomach would get larger and firmer. Your gut would break as the pressure increased. You'd be in excruciating agony and vomiting at this stage. You'd die if you didn't get to the hospital right away. Please do not attempt this at home. Let's simply preserve dry ice for fantastic party tricks and in your ice cream on rare occasions. Dry ice is definitely not something you want to consume.